Okay, here we are with the Youth Companion Magazine of April 22nd, 1909. 105 years ago, and we're going to read the story today of drowsiness. Read to you by Jennifer. Sleepiness is a normal and healthy condition when it occurs at the usual bedtime and when not extreme and overpowering. But it is not always associated with sleep. Some persons in perfect health and excellent sleepers hardly know the meaning of drowsiness. They are active mentally and physically until they are in bed. Then sleep comes at once, and when it leaves them in the morning, they are again in full mental awakeness. There are less fortunate persons who never have a complete and satisfactory night's rest who are yet almost constantly drowsy. They are always nodding, but when the head touches the pillow, sleep recedes, and the night is a succession of drowsy lapses to sleep with the instant return of semi-consciousness. In general, with the expectation noted at the beginning on this article, drowsiness is abnormal and indicates something wrong either in the body of the sufferer or in his habits. Those who habitually cut off their hours of sleep, the night owls, and the burners of the midnight oil pay for their bad habit by attacks of sleepiness in the afternoon and early evening. Later, unfortunately, after the influence of digestion wears off, the drowsiness disappears and then relieved of its burden the person sits up to all hours again, thinking in that way to make up for the hours lost by the drowsiness. If he would abandon his hourlish habit, go to bed bedtimes, and get the seven or eight hours of continuous sleep that he needs, his daytime and evening drowsiness would disappear. He could do more and better work and find life much more enjoyable. A slight drowsiness is often noticed after a heartly meal. Because active digestion draws a greater volume of blood to the stomach so that the brain is relatively poor, poorly supplied. In some southern countries, this tendency is favored and the siesta after the noon meal is a national custom. With us, the after dinner cup of black coffee often drives away the impulse to sleep, whether for good or ill may be left to the psychologists. Sci to determine. Sometimes we hear of attacks of sleepiness occurring suddenly at certain periods of the day or at irregular intervals. These are altogether abnormal, and in such cases there is almost always some poison at work in the nervous centers, usually a self-manufactured poison which because it is made in too great quantity or because constipation or kidney disease prevents its rapid elimination accumulates in the system. An essential in the treatment of su such cases is dieting. Meat should be given up for a time, at least, and the only beverage allowed is water or milk. There you go. So this is a little bit of education about drowsiness. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and remember, this is what they thought of 105 years ago. Bye-bye now.